We'll take a look at this groundbreaking for a park renovation. It might seem small, it's only a pocket park, but the hope is revitalization of Dutch Jake's Park in West Central will usher in a whole new vibe for the community, namely safer and more family friendly. Our Hawk Hammer looking ahead tonight with the project, what it will bring, and where it all started. Hawk. Huh? Aaron, the mayor, giving a huge shout out to the West Central Community Neighborhood Resource Officer today. He says she's been one of the main catalysts behind this project. It's been years in the making. Of course, there have been other groups involved, but now it's finally happening. When I was first presented with having West Central as my neighborhood, I said no. I said no, I didn't think anyone cared. But turns out that wasn't even remotely the case. They're just really good community members down here. And speaking with them, this Dutch Jake's Park, named for an eccentric German tycoon, is kind of the heart of it all. There's a lot of history here. After it was hot, summer day, lay under that tree, and actually um, my very first crush rode his bike over next, next to me and said hello and asked me to ride bikes with him. And so I think of that memory every time I see this park. But the open area has seen better days. I've been on for 25 years, and this little park has always had problems, whether it be drug activity, gang activity was a big one. Now, though, a whole new look is on its way. Here are the renderings, a fresh face with a sports court, a concrete slab maybe for performances, a walking trail, new playground, fencing, landscaping. It's an undertaking with more implications than you might imagine. And a renovation does that. And once you end up with families in the park and, and good people, then the folks that want to do the criminal activity will leave because they don't want the eyes and ears on what they're doing. A small park, but a big role already doing its job. I just think it's wonderful that this community is, is coming together. And the timeline on this construction is expected to wrap up around September of this year. Quick project, uh, the cost of it about a half million dollars paid largely, by, paid largely by the city and also Kaiser Permanente uh, with some other grant money as well. Reporting live, Hawk Hammer, KXY4 News.